believe it or not, there was a time back in the 70s when doctors thought little kids didn't feel any pain, and so they rarely treated it. But thankfully, things have changed, and there are new progressive ways to help kids who hurt. There's a question Evan King has asked a lot. Why doesn't he play basketball? Because, you know, I'm 6'4". I'm but Evan can't play sports, not with constant pain in both knees. People just don't get it. It's like you say you have a pain syndrome, and like they, they look at you as if you're, you're, you're weak, and you're not, you should just suck it up. I think we have some old ideas in our society about pain. You can't think your way through the pain. My strong bias is we need to change the entire culture of pain. Dr. Gary Walco is the director of Children's Pain Medicine Clinic. But I feel it like more up here. One of just 30 centers in the country treating pediatric chronic pain. It's only for like an instant and then it buckles. Today, Dr. Walco explores alternative ways to end Evan's misery. And then the question is where we want to go next. His approach and mission to change the culture of pain. Take breath is shared by other doctors at the clinic. Can I do this one up here? Dr. Katie McGinn incorporates acupuncture into her treatments. I see it as another tool in my toolbox as a pediatric pain doc. Um, most of the medications we use have a list of side effects as long as your arm, and the side effects of acupuncture are relaxation and better sleep. So far so good? Yeah. yeah. After another session or two, Lindsay should experience less discomfort in her back and joints. And I hope that it'll help just to like help ease my pain, make me feel better. Acupuncture for pain management. Dr. Walco often recommends it for his patients, including Evan. What if something more benign worked, like acupuncture? The 16-year-old has already tried image visualization, physical therapy, orthotics, and according to mom, with great success. It's been life changing for him to have this resource here. C couldn't be happier. For the King family, it was a relief just to find a doctor who would take Evan's pain seriously and then treat it. They said, it's real. His pain is real. It's not made up. It's not in your head. And the idea that it's all psychological or in your head, um, I would love to see die once and for all.